It's another new beginning! Yay! Leatherface. This is the umpteenth time the series has been rebooted or retold. The plot. At a young age, Jeb Sawyer has been corrupted by his family. He is soon taken away to a mental hospital, Gorman, where he spends the next ten years trying to regain peace with himself. Elizabeth, played by Vanessa Grasset from RoboShark and It Came from the Desert, has started working at said institution, and now she'll wish she hadn't. Along with the escape from Gorman, Ike and Tammy take two other inmates, Bud and Jackson and Nurse Liz, hostage, and now comes a blood-splattered ride of carnage and sickening acts. From the directors of Inside, Alexandre Bastillo and Julian Marais, a film is made that is a retelling slash reboot of our beloved Leatherface that kind of works and kind of doesn't. First off, Leatherface himself. He's definitely troubled, but the biggest thing is you won't expect who it is. Even when they first revealed him, I was like, oh, she probably thought it was the other guy who's wrapped up in those chains now. But nope! I won't spoil who it is, but I was surprised and slightly put off by it. Grasset herself, along with her character, goes through bloody hell. I kept thinking the whole time, if they killed her off, they'd have major freaking balls. Ike and Tammy are twisted with a capital T. They are monsters and are purposely killing people because they enjoy it. Let's start some shit up. Okay. Dare I say it, they are the most mentally unstable characters in the whole movie. Steven Dorff plays the sheriff hellbent on revenge. The Sawyers killed his daughter, and he just lost it. Speaking of the Sawyers, Lily Taylor from The Conjuring plays Verna Sawyer, and her mind is constantly made up. She cares dearly for her family, and will do anything to keep them under her protection. She even marries a lawyer to try and get her son out of the asylum for the criminally insane. Dijon Angelo plays Nubbins Sawyer, a relative of the hitchhiker from the original movie, and he is not given much to do, which is unfortunate, because we don't get to see his full potential. The cinematography is breathtaking, especially for a low-budget DTV movie. There's nice rays of sun and moonlight that complement the dark scenery with a haunting touch. Okay, that's enough of that kind of stuff. Let us get to this movie's best aspect. The gore, the effects. When your directors direct a movie like Inside, which from what I've heard and seen clips of is insanely graphic, you're not expecting a hard PG-13 or soft R. This movie goes for the jugular and rips it to the fuck out. We get over-the-top gunshot hits, a hammer is smashed into one set, impacting with a crack. There's also brutal head bashing, and there's some messy chainsaw action to be had. All the gore looked practical, so that's another plus. However, there were a lot of off-screen kills, which had built up with no payoff, and that was disappointing. The musical score didn't love it didn't hate it. While it was average, it did commit to one act that was almost unforgivable. Not once did I hear the camera effect that is signature in a majority of the films in this franchise. This film, it was decent. The acting was vile, yet somehow underacted by a lot of the cast. It is a greasy work of averageness. I enjoyed the story, gore, and twists slash shock moments. I thought everything else was just meh, though. Still, am I gonna watch Inside at some point? Yeah, but my expectations are not that high, which will probably be a good thing in the long run. There should be a sequel to this because I think good things could come from it if they handle it the right way and don't blow everything over the top, like they did with Texas Chainsaw 3D. Which, I, I enjoyed that movie, but overall I give Leatherface a 2.5 out of 5. 
The whole hospital segment gave me flashbacks to Ron Turn 4 Bloody Beginnings and Rob Zombie's Halloween remake, which is not a bad thing. I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Entertainment. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below and to leave comments and subscribe.